Welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. Today I'm working on two 12 by 12 canvases and I had a request to do a set of three um, pours that were kind of monochromatic but not really. Um, that's like kind of being married but not really. That makes no sense. Um, but the one piece was a uh, 12 by 24 and then they wanted two 12 by 12s. And the idea was to use white, black, gray, and gold. Um, so they showed me a photo of something similar to what they wanted and asked me to recreate um, that color scheme in pores. So that is what this is now an unfortunate event occurred <laughs> i was going to record all three and so i set the camera up i did the 12 by 24 first i set the camera up i press record and i guess because i remember adjusting it after it started recording um i guess i pressed the button again and it stopped recording and um so yeah I'm really really sorry I wanted to show you all three of them but I just made a little uh oh and um I really didn't want to pour another 12 by 24 because there was no point like the first one come out beautifully so there was no need um I'm also sorry that my noggin is in the way while I'm layering this paint because I did layer it different from how I normally layer it I did not layer it down the side in layers, but I didn't do like a dirty cup where the paints went through each other. I just put layer on top of layer on top of layer on top of layer across the whole width of the of the um cup. So they're very thin layers. Um and I did that because I wanted to get some like striation effects and I wanted it to be um I wanted it to go from light to dark toward the bottom of the canvas, darker toward the bottom or whatever is the bottom. I don't know. They're square. There's no top or bottom, but <laughs> um, you'll see what I, what I mean. But um, yeah, so they are, it's a dirty cup, but it's not like those layers that are, have multiple colors through them it's just they're laid on top of each other um so i i was being you can't tell it from the video but i was being quite um delicate whenever i was putting the the paint in because i didn't want them to um i didn't want the layers to get disrupted so then i'm just going to pour it like zigzaggy fashion um across both of them at the same time and yeah so i did them both at the same time because i did want that gradient um to show up and you'll see see how it's going from light to dark like so see there is some method to my madness sometimes but then i went and did this nonsense why did i do that i don't know i didn't mean to do that i was just like Oh, I got blank spaces. I got to put stuff in it, but it didn't mess it up. I mean, the effect was still there. Um, so yeah, but I did include the 12 by 24 in the dried results. So you guys will get to see all three of them together. I think it came out beautifully. Um, the white was the dominant color. Um, it acted as the negative space in this pour. I think that it would be kind of cool to do it. Um, with the black as the negative space kind of like an opposite um, I think that would look really nice as well so anyway yeah today is Tuesday August the 25th um, if you've had your eye on the weather you'll know that there was Hurricane Marco in the Gulf um, and it was a hurricane, but by the time it made landfall, it was like a tropical storm or tropical depression. 
So it wasn't hurricane level whenever it um, made landfall. So that was good, but it did dump a good bit of rain on us. Um, now Hurricane Laura is in the Gulf, um, but the projected, like the the cone is what we call it. Um, that's just the projected track that it will follow is toward the Louisiana, Texas um, coastal areas. So fingers crossed that we will miss out on Laura because we don't need any more rain um, but in the meantime do keep those people in that area in your prayers or your thoughts and send them positive energy and love um, because hurricanes are not fun I think the last I checked Laura was a category three and I believe that's the highest it's projected to go before landfall and then of course once it reaches landfall um, it generally, um, lowers in, um, severity. So, a Category 3 is not, it's not the worst of the worst, um, but it still makes things difficult and it's not fun and it can lead to a good deal of flooding and, um, you have tornadoes that are prone to the back side um, of it so yeah just anybody in those areas please be safe and I think there's some uh, men, uh, mandatory evacuation orders in place for those coastal areas so I know I've got some subscribers that um, call Texas their home so if you're in that area please be safe and do everything you can to protect yourself and just remember that stuff is replaceable, but you are not. So you are more important than any stuff that you might lose in a storm. <sighs> Speaking of stuff and storms, I've been talking about Bob the Builder being out at the house doing landscaping. I know that <laughs> it probably seems like Bob the Builder is not a very good landscaper, but he actually is. He's really good. He did our... He did our landscaping about a year and a half ago and he did a wonderful job but um, just historically the way the driveway was laid out from the beginning um, it wasn't laid out in a in a strategic way to make the water like run off the sides and the water run down the middle of the driveway um, and that was not something he was aware of whenever he did that the landscape in the first time and so a year and a half later um it's the the driveway had eroded again and it was just like this big trench down the middle so he come back and um he's like i'm gonna fix it this time where that's not gonna happen but it requires a lot of like um dirt being brought in and that kind of stuff and he's been working on it for three weeks now I think but we've had all these rain like just rain 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 and he gets it done and then a day and a half later there's these floods and it's just awful so today he come out and like did some work on it and then it started raining well I got home and it looked nice and smooth because he had like graded it and all this stuff it looked nice and smooth and, and like something that you could drive over because I didn't know he had worked on it because I had been at work while he was here working on it so I turned off to go up the driveway and I just didn't get very far because my back end got bogged down like I don't know what I might insert a picture for you guys just so you can experience this with me because my poor little car is yeah it's in mud up to like the bottom of the door so now I've got to wait for it to dry out before I can get my car out of the mud if Bob the Builder comes up to the house tomorrow then maybe he will pull me out with the bulldozer thingy that he's got 
because his truck got stuck once and he had to pull it out with a bulldozer thingy. So maybe he'll pull me out with a bulldozer thingy. I'm not sure. All I know is my little car is stuck so bad. I was so mad at myself for driving on this wet stuff. Like, I thought it, I didn't know it was so mushy. It was mushy, y'all. It's a hot mess like you wouldn't believe. So I'm hoping tomorrow is supposed to be sunshiny till about 2 p.m. I had to take I had to I had to take a vacation day because I can't get to work because my car is in the mud. So hopefully it'll dry off enough that I can like drive it out of the mush. Um we shall see, we shall see. <laughs> okay, so here you go. Here are the um wet results. You can see there's some nice cells and um some nice lacing going on it's nothing super duper fancy but i think it's really nice um and it's what the person had wanted just a minimalistic kind of um monochromatic almost um so yeah and the dried results are wait don't go wait oh okay yeah we're back anyway <laughs> this is the dried results and as you can see they just yeah it's just really nice and um i hope I hope the person that ordered it likes it and i hope you enjoyed this video and i will speak with you all very soon bye